Infiltration galleries are subsurface sources of water that are used for water supply distribution system. There are mainly two sources of water. They are the surface sources of water called as lakes or ponds, sea or ocean, river and reservoir, and subsurface sources of water which includes springs, wells and certain other structures like infiltration galleries. To get your picture about infiltration galleries, let us consider a river bed cross-section as shown. Here the water table is drawn in a different pattern that means water table varies with the terrain of the land. So as the water table level varies with the river bed or the water body area. We are going to construct infiltration galleries based on the water table level. Here, we are supposed to construct an infiltration gallery below the water table level such that the water underground or the water under the aquifer area will percolate into a specially designed structure called as the galleries. So here, the features of infiltration galleries includes in the way how the infiltration gallery is constructed such that clear water enters the gallery and which is taken into an outward pump or intake structure and then either treated or distributed for water demands. So as shown in the figure, we have a square gallery. Into the gallery are the pipes connected. These pipes are perforated pipes. These perforated pipes are again surrounded by means of a filter medium. The water below the water table level percolates through the filter medium, reaches the porous pipe and which is taken to the gallery. Then the gallery is taken out to the sump or the pump area, then to the intake structure or the storage area. So this is the general arrangement of an infiltration galleries. Here as shown, the water is allowed to percolate into the gallery by means of gravitational flow. In order to permit the water entering the gallery, the construction of the gallery is made by means of open joints so that the water enters easily into the gallery. Here, the infiltration gallery structure shown is a masonry structure whose top and bottom is covered by means of an RCC slab. The pipes and the filter medium usually used before was gravel, but now there are various technologies for better filtering of water. The water is filtered so that organic and inorganic particles are trapped and clear water enter the tank. The infiltration galleries are constructed near a permeable aquifer with a high water table and a continuous recharge of perennial flow. It is laid parallel or perpendicular to the river beds at depth of 3 meters to 6 meters. Here, the figure that I've shown is an infiltration gallery that is laid perpendicular to the flow of river water as well as it is constructed below the water table level. Here the area view of an infiltration gallery constructed under the ocean water floor is given. Here the gallery is constructed parallel to the flow of river bed as well as it is constructed below the water. It is not constructed nearby the river bed. So the variation of infiltration gallery construction is possible based on how yield or how much yield that you require from the infiltration galleries. These galleries collect water by intercepting and collecting water through gravitational flow. So the principle of water entering infiltration gallery is through the principle of gravitational flow of water. The pipes that is used for entering water into the gallery are horizontal pipes that are made of vitrified clay or concrete or brick or any other innovative material and they have a diameter varying from 0.5 meters to 1.5 meters in diameter. They are made porous so that the water is filtered and clear water enters into the gallery. The pipe in the infiltration gallery is perforated and is surrounded by and packed by means of a permeable boundary which is formed by a three-layer graded filter or any other geotextile filter medium. The purpose of filter arrangement in varying sizes of aggregate is to allow the clear water percolation with a low entrance velocities. So here I have explained an example of a filter medium made up of gravel, but the filter medium can improve based on the technologies available. The gallery is laid at a slope leading to a central collecting shaft from which water is pumped to the surface for use or distribution. So here the water taken from the river is actually taken in a slope direction so that the gravitational flow as well as the movement of water is made easy. Now we'll discuss about the yield capacity of infiltration galleries. The yield capacity of infiltration gallery is calculated based on the formula Q is equal to K into H2 minus H02 divided by 2 times L, where L is the distance between the gallery and the source, that is the river or lake. Height H is the height of the saturated zone at a distance of L. Now the height of saturated zone varies as the water table varies for different areas. H0 is the depth of water in the gallery 
and Q is the discharge that we are calculating and it is the discharge passing through the vertical section of the gallery per unit length of the gallery. Now here, if we are allowing the water entering through one side of the gallery, we have a discharge of Q. If the water enters through the either side from both direction, then the yield will be two times Q. One or more galleries can be constructed together and finally connected to a central point like a spring box or a hand dug well so that you get a higher yield. Infiltration galleries are constructed in combination with other means of water supply system so as to meet the increasing water demand as a single infiltration gallery cannot meet the demand of a bigger population. It is constructed in a way that it is prevented from getting contaminated. A safe distance of generally 30 meters is maintained from the latrines and any contaminated areas while constructing an infiltration gallery. And the safe distance for this varies based on the site conditions.